guys, welcome to daily technical forex forecast for the 7th of July. My name is Andrew Shadetsky, I'm a technical analyst at Triumph FX. And tradition will begin our forecast with the EURUSD currency pair. Well, yesterday we saw a strong and pretty abrupt growth of the price after the test of the global support 1.1391.1. 1329 but if we take a look at the bottom of the of our chart we see that volume during this growth was very small so that we are unable to uh, highlight any volume level so zones here you can see the confirmation of this so unfortunately the price is still locked in the consolidation and you see that pretty large volume is concentrated in this range so we need to uh, wait for the exit of the price from this consolidation and after that we can trade the euro and open uh, long positions of course uh, they are in priority because we have a strong uptrend and we have a strong level of support so we should highlight purchases for this instrument we can enter the market after the strong and confident breakout of the uh, of this local maximum and after a small correction of the price we open long positions and wait for further growth of the price the breakout and the upward move should be supported uh, by large volume it's a must condition because uh, it will be a clear, a clearly and more safe uh, signal for entering the market. A potential of the deal is around 90, uh, is around 90, 100 pips. The pound. Well, here situation remains the same. We are trading in this local consolidation a little bit above the level of support 1.2897, 1.2910. If we take a look at our volume chart, well, here we can see that there are also pretty large accumulation of volume in this range so, so the scenario is pretty simple to the euro one we need to uh, open long positions after the breakout of the consolidation so uh, when the price grows up and then breaks this consolidation out we can open long positions and set a stop loss below the beginning of the breakout move also, the breakout should be supported by large volume. It's very important, uh, as I told, uh, as I told it before, uh, for the euro. It's very important that um, it's not a fake breakout to avoid such fake moves. So, for the pound, also long positions are in priority uh, after the breakout of the consolidation. Also, uh, if the price breaks down the resist uh, the support we should stay out of the market but still i still i still think that uh, the price will go up uh, the japanese yen well here is pretty interesting situations for situation for trading because the price has broken out the level of resistance 113.38 113.50 you see that the breakout was on increased volume and it was uh, pretty rapid pretty abrupt and you see that the price uh, was fixed uh, about this uh, about this previous level of resistance that all these factors are good signs that uh, the price is willing to continue the strong global uptrend so of course in such a case we should open only long positions we can enter the market either from the current level uh, or after a little correct uh, a small correction of the price then we open long positions and wait for further growth of the pair a stop loss should be set below the level uh, 113.15 so it's uh, uh, below the, uh, the breakout volume bar and a potential of the deal is around 90 pips so for the yen only long positions are in priority the canadian dollar well situation here is pretty complicated because the price is trading in the consolidation uh, you see that uh, it couldn't break the boundaries of this range so that we can highlight here two possible scenarios because uh, uh, the exit of the price from the consolidation more probable with will start a local uh, trend so the first scenario is a confident breakout of the resistance 1.3012 uh, and then we can open long positions with a stop loss set below the breakout volume bar a breakout move should be supported by large volume it's a must condition a potential of the deal the target is the level 1.3180 uh, 
so uh, you see that it's a pretty interesting deal but we need to wait for the breakout of the resistance the second scenario is a breakout of this local minimum the breakout should be on increased volume too it's very important and of course it should be abrupt then we open short positions with a stop loss set about the breakout volume bar and the potential of the fall is around 100 pips so for the canadian dollar we just need to wait for the breakout of this local consolidation uh, for australian dollar uh, here situation remains the same we have a strong uptrend we have a pretty abrupt local downtrend so now unfortunately we are unable to trade this instrument moreover volume on the market is pretty small so that we are unable to highlight any new volume levels or zones so my advice is, is just to wait for the payrolls today and then after the appearance of strong volume and the creation of new volume levels we can uh, consider trading this instrument but until that we just it's better to stay out of the market and our last instrument is gold well as you can see from the chart the price uh, rebounded down from the level of resistance 1226.00 1228.70 but still is trading in the local consolidation between the resistance and the level of support the low boundary of the consolidation 1218.50 if we take a look at our volume chart well here we can see the pretty large volumes concentrated here so the exit of the price from this consolidation will be a good signal for trading but given the strong downtrend and the really huge and volume level of resistance it's better to consider opening short positions after the breakout of the confident breakout of the of the support 1218.50 after that we can open short positions with a stop loss set about the breakout volume bar a potential of the deal is around 120 pips so for gold short positions after the breakout of the of the support sorry if we take a look at our sentiment well nothing has changed at all so you see that all our deals are confirmed only the australian dollar and the canadian dollar well, these two instruments uh, has pretty tough situations for trading so uh, we we it's better not to uh, look at the sentiment for this currency pairs and just to wait for some more clear clear situations some more clear signals and of course some um, impulse some volume impulse to be able to trade these two currency pair, pairs as for the euro the pound and the yen and gold well everything is confirmed so it's a good signal for trading these instruments as the bottom line of today's uh, forecast i need i want to note that today uh, payrolls will be published so i advise you to be extremely careful especially during news and of course i still think and i hope that after the release of this uh, um, of this data we will see some volume impulses and it will give us an opportunity to trade uh, majors and to make some profitable deals so for today's all thank you guys for watching hope this forecast will be useful for you see you bye bye